Welcome back. ACT scores up in Hamilton County, but some schools in the area did not receive college ready marks. Stephanie Sanastasi joins us now to tell us what those schools plan to do to change those numbers. Stephanie. Well, Kelvin Latricia, the ACT, it's a standardized test that gauges college readiness. Hamilton County's composite scores made a big jump this past year, more than the average gains made in both the state and the nation. The Howard School did increase its average ACT score from last year to 14.8, but results still showed no college ready students based on ACT benchmarks. Sophomores and juniors inside the Howard School prepare for the ACT. This is a new class created specifically this year. First year Howard principal Chris Earl says last year a course like this one was only offered on Saturdays. We created a mission statement, a vision statement for our school that had direct central office um, input in that as well. So we're all trying to streamline everything because once again it all goes back on the kid and we want them ready once they leave our building. The average ACT score in Tennessee is 19. 19.9. Last year, students here at Howard averaged more than five points below that. Principal Earl says that's now sparked a conversation between staff and students. We're starting to have dialogue with the kids saying, hey, look, we want you, when you leave Howard High School, not only be college ready, career ready, we want you to be able to step outside in the real world and just be ready to thrust yourself in and show your talents. Secondary Operations Director for Middle and High Schools in Hamilton County, Leandria Ware, says this is also a conversation that's being had in the central office. Office. She understands that there's still a lot of work to do here. A lot of our children come and they weather experiences that some of us have never even imagined. Earl tells us in these prep classes, teachers break down the ACT and work on test taking strategies. He wants the students who graduate from here this year to be ready to move on. But he also wants the public to know. ACT is an indicator. You know, it is not the beginning and end all be all. Um, I don't want anyone to have a perception that students graduate here and they're not ready for college period. Howard is a Title I school, so students there don't have to pay to take the ACT. Every student can also take the test more than one time. Now, the Howard School wasn't the only school to show no college-ready students based on those ACT benchmarks. The Hamilton County Virtual School also showed up in that same category. Kelvin. Thanks, Stephanie. 28% of test takers nationally scored at a college ready levels, according to the ACT. Only 20% of students in Tennessee scored at college ready levels. That's compared to 16% in Alabama, 18% in North Carolina, and 26% in Georgia.